The last time we saw this play out was in February and Beijing kicked out more than a dozen journalists. What are the implications this time around? Well, as you mentioned, yes, there's now six more Chinese media um, uh, designated as foreign missions by the U.S. And, uh, the, and the last time, as you said, there were 12, more than a dozen actually, that were, that were, that were uh, expelled from China as a result. So we're all kind of bracing for the retaliation. And as you mentioned, the uh, Global Times editor has come out and said that there definitely will be retaliation. And he's hinting that that could even extend to the operations of U.S. media in Hong Kong, uh, which would be a, a new twist in, in the story. So basically, we have to wait until we hear some official uh, uh, response, because the Global Times doesn't represent necessarily uh, the official response. But hopefully, we'll, we'll uh, have more clarity on that as, as the day goes on, um, possibly this afternoon here in China. And Colin, maybe some of the China-US issues might calm down depending on the outcome of the election, but the spat over chips is not likely to get uh, any kind of easing, right? Correct. Um, it's become highly politicized and will continue to be so uh, past the elections, most probably. And that's mainly because it's just so important. The industry is so important to both the US and China and also to other countries, even though the uh, global industry is, is concentrated in a very small number of countries. Um, everybody is now uh, wants to push ahead with their own plans uh, to build up their industry. So there's uh, obviously some uh, fierce tension emerging between the US and, and China in particular.